Hey guys, it's Hey here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Windows 10 for free. And uh, I've already made a video about how to upgrade to Windows 10 when it first released, but in this video I'm going to show you how to perform a clean install of Windows 10 for free. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be wiping out my Acer computer here, and we're going to be putting a complete clean copy of Windows uh, 10 in. And what you guys need to do is you need to download the media creation tool off Microsoft's official website. There will be a link in the description box, and you're going to need to be able to burn yourself a, bl a blank DVD with the Windows 10 media on it. So here I have a blank DVD R. I've created a base. Basically, I burnt Windows 10 onto this DVD. And you can create your own DVD yourself by using the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. It's up right here on my desktop. You have to download this from Microsoft's website. It's a free download. And all you have to do is run it and then create yourself an ISO image up and then burn that ISO file onto a blank DVD. And that will allow you to uh, install Windows 10 on uh your uh, computer and I'm going to go over how you wipe the computer out completely so when you open it up you're going to click create installation media for another PC click next down here you'll have to select your uh, select your language and uh, select your operating system 64 bit click next and then you want to click create an ISO file so, uh, and then click next again. And then you name the ISO file, whatever you want, and save it. And then you're going to burn that ISO file to a DVD. Now, I've already done that. And uh, I'm going to exit out of that. So, I'm just, I just did that for those of you that don't know what to click on. But once you've created your own Windows 10 installation DVD, I'm going to show you how to perform a complete wipeout copy of the computer and reinstall Windows 10 freshly. So, what you want to do is you want to insert it to your CD-ROM drive of your computer. If you don't have a CD drive, you can't do this, obviously. I'll make another video on how to use a USB stick, so put in the DVD. And what you want to do is you want to completely power off the computer and hold the power button down until it's completely powered off. Alright. So once it's completely powered off, we want to change our BIOS, our boot priority, to boot from the DVD that we have in. Here. So what you want to do is you want to power it on, and for Acer computers, you need to. What you have to do is you need to press F2 as soon as the computer loads up. Like keep pushing F2, 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 F2. This is for Acer. It, it may be a different key you need to press depending on what computer you have. If it's a Dell, HP, or whatever. So you may need to check your manufacturer's website on how to open up your BIOS, and then you might want to check on how to change your boot priority. So you can boot from a DVD, alright? So what I'm going to do is use my arrow keys and I'm going to go down to boot. Using my arrow keys here. And right here I got the hard drive first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right here as a second up top. So this is my DVD drive. Up there is the hard drive. And it tells me on my that I need to press F5 to move it down and F6 to move it up. So I'm going to press F6. And that will put the DVD drive at the very top. And then I'm going to click Exit, Save, and Changes. And then click Save again. And what that will do is it will launch the DVD. And it's going to say, press any key to boot from the DVD. When it does that, all you have to do is press any key on your keyboard. So, let me wait. So right now, press any key to boot from a DVD. I just double clicked on it. Now we're booting up off our Windows 10 installation DVD. So right now, at this time, we're not logging into Windows 10. It may look like it with the uh, Windows logo, but what we're doing is we're booting into a DVD that we have. So uh, we're going to let that load. Alright, so now we're just loading up into our Windows 10 DVD. And right here we have the options now to uh, select our... Uh, our language and time and keyboard and what all we have to do is click on next and what we want to do is click install now this will start the uh, the setup so we'll just have to wait for that 
and uh, this is how, where we're going to reformat the hard drive. So when you do a clean install of Windows, you're going to make sure you're backing up your computer because anything that's on it will be completely gone because you're going to wipe the, the hard drive clean here. So it's a fair weather warning to you to not proceed any further unless you back up your computer because everything will be gone after. Because I'm going to show you how to do the format and then it will be good to put a clean install on. Okay, so we have to accept the end user license agreement. Click next. And this is where we want to do uh, the clean install. Now it's real important if we're performing a complete clean install is that we choose the custom install. You have to choose the custom install. And here we have our, our, our partitions and our hard drive. And what you want to do is you want to start off by deleting all these partitions. And it's going to warn you that everything on the computer will be deleted and it won't be recoverable. So this is where you want, want to once you press OK, everything will be wiped out. So this is where you want to make sure you've backed up your computer before you press OK. Now, we've just completely wiped out the hard drive. It was that fast. And we're going to delete this, all these partitions. Because we may have partitions in here. It doesn't matter how many you have. You just want to delete them all so you only have one drive up here. Go ahead, delete. And then you're going to have unallocated space, so now we have a whole hard drive full of free space. Alright, so once you've done that, and it's completely wiped out, you'll have unallocated space, as I said. And uh, what you want to do is you want to just click Next. When you click Next, it will start installing Windows 10 for you. And at this point of the video, I'm not going to show you any more because all you have to do is wait and it will do it all for you. You just sit back and relax and follow the on-screen instructions from here. There's nothing really special about it from this point and your computer may restart several times. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please remember to comment, write, and subscribe.